What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwood and I am back again today bringing you guys another video for my Madden 25 Ultimate Team Series and today we are in the Conference Championship of Season 2 and this is the Rookie First String Division. We've gone through the regular season undefeated. We made it through the divisional round with a nice win. We made the opponent rage quit and so far so good. I'm feeling pretty happy about it, but you know, just like what happened last year, I can't get overconfident. I might get matched up against somebody that has just one of those absolutely ridiculous teams. So I have to keep my mind focused. I have to make sure that I'm not making mistakes in this game. And if I can do that, I'm usually able to walk away with a win. So that's what I'm gonna be focused on, making sure I don't make mistakes and just trying to play solid defense. Now let's take a look at my opponent's team. He's got 96 Nick Foles, who was in my budget series. He's got a couple other guys that were in the budget series as well. Uh, Jordan Cameron was one of them. And then he actually had a couple guys that were on the defensive line and the offensive line as well, which I was you know, not overly surprised with. But at the same time though, I know how to beat these guys. I know what their weaknesses are. So again, I'm feeling pretty confident when I look at this roster. There really isn't a lot of superstar talent. And that is definitely always good to see. You never want to see a guy that's got an amazing team so first play of the game we go with the outside zone he heat seeker tackles me but I'm gonna go right back to it this time to the opposite side though and Chris Johnson breaks this one loose he hits a back juke and he gets a big first down for us there later in the drive now it's third and nine and watch QB Walter here he's gonna pick up the first down but he pays the price Mike Mitchell lays the boom on him and now we're gonna try it again to the opposite side and watch QB Walter here oh that back juke though and he is gone for the first touchdown of the game as he high steps into the end zone. That was an awesome first drive for me and I'm feeling really good. Not really worried about this guy's offense too much. I feel like we can keep him in check, but he was definitely somebody that likes to grind the football and he ran quite a bit, especially early in the game. And that's why it's so important when you're playing somebody that likes to run the football a lot, you need to make sure that you commit to the run early. And I don't mean actually press the commit to run button. I'm talking about making sure that you with your user player is committed to stopping the run. Don't let them beat you with the run. And look at Frank Gore here. Sometimes it doesn't even matter. He breaks like five tackles on that play. But as you saw there, he only had three attempts for 11 yards at that point. And people don't like to just pick up short yardage. I've seen it happen over and over and over again as we make another tackle there with Sean Gibson. People just are not patient and eventually they make mistakes. That was third and six, and he was close to being in field goal range, but he took a sack, and instead, he had to punt the football, and now I have the ball on offense, and that is a dangerous thing for him as we hit the play action deep to Alshon Jeffrey over the middle for a big gain, and now we go back to the read option. QB Walter, is he going to be able to? Nope, he gets tackled after about a gain of six. Third and two now, and QB Walter is going to go off the opposite side with another read option. Look at Alshon Jeffrey, just the best blocking receiver in this game. I don't care what anybody says. He is the best dang overall receiver in this game when it comes to blocking and everything like that. Nobody does it better. I love that Alshon Jeffrey final edition card. And look at this guy now. He's getting a little bit impatient here. He's going to bomb it deep, and that could have been intercepted very easily. Remember what I said about him not being satisfied with the short yardage runs because he's starting to just bomb it deep at this point. Granted, there's only 20 seconds left in the half, and he has to make a play, of course, if he wants to score. But because he was unable to run, now he's just bombing it into coverage, and that's a big mistake. Next drive now, and Vernon Davis makes the catch, but he's hit, and he fumbles, and they recover it basically to end the first half. Nothing else happened there. But on the first play on defense, Derek Johnson with the user pick. Back on offense, it's third and seven, and we nearly pick up the first down, but it's fourth and one, and I'm not gonna risk it. I'm taking my field goal, I'm going up three scores. No problem with that at all. And it's now 17 to zero here in the third quarter. Let's see if we can make him make another mistake. He throws it into coverage here. Do we come up with it? Yes, to Sean Gibson. For a second, it looked like his receiver was going to get it. I would have rage quit probably if that would have happened. <laughs> but look at Sean Gibson as he just bulldozes, guys. Second and 11 now. We're going to go play action here over the middle. And Trinan Holiday. Ooh, that was nearly picked, though. That was not a good decision by me. Read option now, and we get tackled in the backfield. And again, I'm just going to take my points. I'm not above going for field goals. This is my conference championship game and I just need to not make mistakes. Like he does here, Charles Woodson with the interception and we have the football. Watch this, he's gonna make a nice spin move to avoid that player and he gets tackled at about the 26 yard line. 
first play back on offense now. We're going to go with the screen pass to CJ2K, and he's going to get some blockers out in front of him, but he does get taken down after a five-yard gain. Next play, it's the read option. We hand it off to Johnson again, but that heat seeker tackle takes him down in the backfield. Third and eight now, and we thread it in there to Alshon Jeffrey, who catches the ball for a first down. That was the end of the third quarter. Now in the fourth, another screen pass to Chris Johnson here. He gets about six, skipping forward, and it's third and four. We're going to run the read option, and we get barely stopped short. Another field goal. That's three field goals in a row now, all on turnovers. I am not playing well on offense, needless to say. But our defense is bailing us out. Gotcha, bitch. Dominique Rogers Cromartie with the interception. He gets it back, and we are back to about the 35-yard line. It's first and 10, and CJ2K is going to go off the left side. Nice gain of about eight there. Next play, we fake the handoff, make it look like we're going to go with the same play, but we go play action, and it's Donald Penn who makes the catch down to about the one-yard line. Very next play, CJ2K finally gets us back into the end zone. 30 to nothing, and this game is all over but the crying as he bombs it into coverage again. He is really just trying to get the ball down the field to try and make some sort of play on offense, and it's just not working for him over and over again. Finally there, he threw it into double coverage, but at least he caught the ball. That about did it for the game, though, as we are able to win this one 30-0. A fairly easy game for me overall. Tons of interceptions forced. Our defense played extraordinarily. Offensively, we need to make sure we play better in the Super Bowl. But I'm happy about it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's game. If you did, make sure you leave a like. If you could comment and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate that as well. Thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches in the Super Bowl.